Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today I'm visiting 360 Spoonbill in Melbourne Beach. We'll be looking at a four bedroom, three and a half bath home that is on a canal as well as a dead end street. Uh, we have a two car oversized garage and a blue metal roof with several skylights with a vaulted ceiling. So as you can see we're walking up to the front door which you'll notice as I turn the corner is a nice double door entry with stained glass on both sides. We also have hurricane shutters in the garage for this door. You can see the tracks here. All of the windows and doors do have hurricane shutters. And as we walk inside, I'm going to turn around to show you the stained glass first. Off to our right, I'll give you a quick look in the garage, the two car oversized garage. So it's a little dark, but plenty of room for two cars in there. So upon entering, you see a large staircase that leads up to the second floor. This was custom made for the home. We have a soaring ceiling, which I'm sure looks great on your screen, but looks even better in person. We have a large living area with a slider out to the front. However, it has a privacy fence so nobody can see inside. So we have the formal living here and then the formal dining in front of us with a slider out to the back. And as I continue turning to my left, I'm going to pan up again to show you the ceiling. Here's the loft following the staircase down. We're now looking toward the uh, family room. So as we walk this direction, you'll see that we have a really nice family room off to our left. That is a propane fireplace. We have a nice screened porch in front of us. And as I turn to my right, you'll see we have a fantastic kitchen here uh, that has recently been renovated. We have some really beautiful granite here. Lots of cabinet space and counter space. And in fact, as I turn to the left, as I continue going, you'll see that the counters and cabinet continue this direction. I'd like to show you while we're here that when you're in the kitchen, you have not only a great view of the canal, which I'll show you up close in just a minute, but as you're looking this direction, you can actually see out to the river. Uh, it may be hard to see on the screen because we do have some greenery but that is a view out to the river and you see some amazing sunsets uh, when you're in the kitchen later in the day. So before we head out there though, I'd like to take you through the formal dining, back into the formal living, and then up the stairs. You'll see off to the left in just a moment that we have a full bath here with a pool bath door that leads out to the backyard. Uh, there is no pool but there is a hot tub that does convey with the home. And here we have the large formal dining which as you can see has a great slider out to the back. Here we have a tiki hut that's actually uh, what is left of an old tree. Rather than taking the tree out, they had it made into this umbrella. So it's pretty cool. 
Uh, you can see here that we have the hurricane shutters that cover all of the openings, as I said at the beginning. So, walking toward the formal living again, moving toward the entry, and now as I turn, looking up the staircase toward the loft. This was tiled within the last year, so that is brand new. Uh, you have a great view out the back here as well. One of the uh, neat things about this property that I'd like to point out while we're up here is not only do you own the land on this side of the canal, you actually have the 20 feet on the other side of the canal as well. Uh, there's a berm which is difficult to see on the screen, but your property extends all the way up to the berm, so you own both sides of the canal. So before we check out the bedrooms, I'm going to just give you a nice overview from the loft here. Those are impact rated skylights, by the way. Which is really nice because you'll be able to save money on your insurance uh, after you have a wind mitigation study done. So, walking into one of the bedrooms, this is not the master, but you'll see in just a moment there is a half bath in this bedroom. So, very bright and open, three windows with one facing out to the canal. And as we move around the bend here, you'll see that we have a sink that looks outside. And then as I turn to my left, we have the commode. So this would make a great guest bedroom. They have a little privacy here. So we've been in one bedroom. Just to kind of give you the lay of the land here. This is the master bedroom in front of us. And as I turn to my left, the hallway continues this direction where you'll find two more bedrooms and a bathroom that we'll visit in just a moment. We're now going to walk into the master. As you can see, it's quite large. Uh, not only do you have the windows off, well, now in the center of the screen, but there are two doors that will take you out onto the second floor patio here. And I'm going to wait until we're back downstairs to show you the view. I don't have the dimensions in front of me, but if you can't tell from the video, this is a very large room. So plenty of space up here. And as you go around the bend, you'll see that there's a double vanity. And then as we with this direction, you'll see that we have the shower, a large walk-in shower with a skylight, by the way. And then turning to my left, we have the commode. So again, a large shower, probably at least five by six, possibly five by seven if I had to guess. And then, I also don't want you to miss, let me open it up, we have a nice sized walk-in closet here with the cedar. Give you another look from this angle before we leave.
And since we're here, I'll just show you the view out this window, actually. So you can see that the lot next door is undeveloped. Uh, the lot to the east is also undeveloped at this time. So turning again, we are now walking toward the loft. and walking down the hallway. So as we walk, just taking another quick look down. If I haven't mentioned, this house is just under 3,000 square feet. Uh, it sits on about a quarter acre. Here we have a nice cultured marble countertop with cabinets. Bathroom is tiled, as you can see. A tower, I'm sorry, a shower tub combination. Now here we have two bedrooms. We'll take a look at the one on our left first. Again, you can see it's very bright, very open. While we do have a light on, there's lots of natural light here. And this bedroom is tiled as is the one adjacent to it. Uh, behind this door in front of us we do have the air handler. So now that we have seen the upstairs, let's take a look outside. One more look at the loft before we go. So again, it is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home, uh, just under 3,000 square feet with an oversized two car garage. And while we're here, I'm just giving you one more look at the family room, as well as the kitchen. So we have the kitchen here, we have the formal dining down the hallway, and then we have an eat-in area right here. So we have some large chairs here, so on the screen it may not look like a large area, but you could actually have a table there with a couple chairs without any problem. So we're now headed out onto the screened porch. Before I show you the canal, I'm going to turn to my left just to show you that there's plenty of parking space here. If you have a, uh, a large boat, uh, you can certainly fit it here. If you had an RV, uh, you might be able to park it there, depending on how large it is. So here we have the screen porch. That's the door that we just came out of. And you can see we have a great deck here. Here's the second story that uh, it le is, comes off the master bedroom. So plenty of room for entertaining. Just a great space to spend some time. Here's the tiki hut that I showed you from the formal dining. I don't want to spend too much time focusing on it. But this used to be a tree that was growing here, and rather than taking the tree out, you can see that they had it cut and turned into the tiki hut. 
it's very well built. Uh, it has withstood storms, so I think that's going to be there for a long time. I think it's very cool. And here we have a hot tub that is also going to stay with the property. Now, like I said when we were upstairs, just walk down here quickly. Not only do you own the land on this side of the canal, but you also own the land on the other side of the canal. It's about 20 feet uh, up to the berm. So while somebody could have a house on the other side on that lot, uh, they actually would not own the canal portion of that lot. That is the river right there. You can see that we don't have a dock here, but the neighbors do, and they have a fairly large boat down there. So, great location in Melbourne Beach. There is access to the river. There is access to the ocean as well. Quite a few fish jumping. So today we have visited 360 Spoonbill in Melbourne Beach. My name is Andy Barclay, I'm with Remax Elite and my wife and I are both full-time realtors. If you'd like more information about this property, any other property in Melbourne Beach or in Brevard County, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you can call me at 321-514-9862 or you can email me at andy at thinkandy.com. Thanks for watching.